Hi, this is Isaac from Compositional IT. Up until now, I've only built and run our application from the command line using the .NET command. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to build, run, and debug f -sharp applications directly from VS Code. Now, there are a few ways to do this, including Ionide's own built-in debug support, but I'm going to show you the standard build-debug experience built into VS Code. The first thing I need to do is enable .NET Core debugging in VS Code. The easiest way to do this for the very first time is with my f -sharp application already open is hit F5. This is the shortcut for start debugging. Now since this project hasn't been configured yet, code is asking what type of debugger we want to use. Only Node.js is shown here, so I'm going to select more, and then I'm going to pick the c -sharp extension from the list. Although the extension is actually titled c -sharp, it's a bit of a misnomer. It actually includes a full .NET debugger that works fine with f -sharp as well. Once you restart code, you'll see it starts to install a load of dependencies for OmniSharp, which is part of the c -sharp extension that I just installed. Whilst this is happening, I'm going to set up my project for debugging. Again, I'm going to hit F5, but this time you'll see the option .NET Core is also shown, and that's what I'm going to choose. Code now creates a file called launch.json. This file contains details of what application we actually want to debug whenever we hit F5. I'm going to remove the .NET Core launch web task, as we don't actually need it here, and then I'm going to fill in the blanks for the .NET Core launch console configuration. There are two fields of importance here. The target framework, which for us is NetCore App 2.1, and the project name, which is Hello World. I'm going to try and run the application with F5 again. This time, I get an error saying that code could not find the task build. What this refers to is what is known as the pre-launch task in the launch.json. In other words, when I hit F5 to run, would I like code to do anything before running the app? And in my case, yes, I'd like code to first build the project. So I'm going to choose configure task. Because there's no build task yet configured, Code offers to create a new one for me. I then tell it to create a basic .NET build task. Now, another file, tasks.json, has been created. The defaults for this file should work fine. As you can see, it simply runs .NET build, although in my case, I've set it to always push output to the console rather than be silent by default. Now, I'm finally in a position to build and run my application by hitting a 5 you can see immediately that code has started building the application. And now it's run it. There's the output in the debug console. Note that you can kick off a build separately by simply hitting Control shift b I'll end by showing you how to set breakpoints when debugging in VS Code. Simply hit F9 on any line you wish to break against, or click in the breakpoint gutter on the left of the code panel. As you can see on the left, the debug pane shows me local values, watched values, and the call stack. In this case, it's pretty empty because it's just a basic application, but it works pretty much the same as in Visual Studio. That's the end of this screencast. You've now seen how to install .NET Core, create a basic f -sharp console application, and then edit, build, run, and debug it in a dedicated IDE. Thanks for watching.